Amen. 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 I promise y'all, every time I think I'm young, I put a feeling that thing right here. But I tell you what, I'd rather be dead tired of praising God than be full of energy and worship the devil. I'm young, but I tell you, I love Jesus first. He's the most important thing to me. When we come up here, we don't come trying to outsay nobody because we can't. We don't try to outplay nobody because we can't. We just come in here and give what God gave us to y'all. I don't beg people to live up the name of Jesus. I be thinking like people think like me. When God done blessed me, none of them was around. I need another blessing right now. And I got me in Jesus. And just like he blessed me then, he's blessing now. I want to ask you something, and I want you to talk for yourself. Don't try to talk for your neighbor. I want you to talk for you. Let me ask you something. We can do it real quick, real quick, real quick to the point. Has God been good to you? Let me ask you this. Anybody ain't ever been sick? And God healed you. Let me make it a little bit more personal. Anybody ever lost someone close to you? And you cried all night long. Tears just coming down your face. But God was there holding you the whole time. Now this one here is for me. How many of you ever had more bills than you had money? I ain't talking to the rich folks. I'm talking to people like me. How many of you ever couldn't really go to the gas pump because you know you didn't have cash in your pocket. You didn't have enough money in that account. You done borrowed from so many people that way you're scared to ask for money. But let me see how many here know God never left you through all of that. Somebody ought to just jump up and say he blessed me then and he's still blessing me now. Listen, while the spirit is here, I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me. The spirit is already here. So I'm going to ask you to do this one thing for me. Again, don't do it because your neighbor is sitting on side of you. But if you glad that God has changed a situation in your life, I want to have a look back moment. I dare all y'all to close your eyes in here just for a moment. Now in this moment of while your eyes closed, I want you to think of a situation that you had got yourself in and nobody but Jesus was able to get you out of it. Yes, sir. Come on, everybody, get that look back moment right now. Get that look back moment. Think about if God wouldn't have done that situation for you. Some people been about to lose their house, been about to lose their job, but they ask God to step in and show up. Get that moment that it was nobody but God that did it. When mama got sick, when daddy got sick, when your kids got sick, and you ask God to heal and he healed. Get that moment right now in your mind. Now I want you to think about your situation after God fixed it. Now while you're in this moment, I want you to think about that situation if God didn't do it for you. And now I don't want you to do this real sorry. I don't want just no hand praise. I want some saints that's ready to give God some praise. If you know it was nobody but God that fixed that situation, for about 30 seconds, I just want you to give God some praise. I'm going to look at this building. Come on, let's do it. Let everybody know.
Come on, hey, come on, it's in here. It's already in there. I need the song. I want to sing right here. It means a lot to me. Words go like this. I need the old. Hallelujah.